of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veils, through the mist and ancient trees. The ghost like horse so proudly Silent as the breeze Thara They named him Thara He's the son of the wind Strong and free Thara They named him Thara And a king Yes, a king He will be With the trappers being forced by the high country creatures to beat a hasty retreat, it would not be long before the mountains would seem free once again. Free of worry, free of care, free of danger. The creatures would soon be able to return to being themselves and enjoying their lives. Especially the youngsters. But even freedom, when care is set aside, can have its dangers. Got anything? Just a few good specs. Not duds like that last one. I wondered where you'd got to. Thought you were supposed to be giving me a hand. Been in the bush, wondering. Seems nice with those trappers gone. Anyway, it'd be better with them gone. I just lose track of time when I'm out there. Yeah, it does that, the bush. Glad it's got into your bones, though, Charlie. You'll never regret having the high country a part of you. Never. Well, you can know it like the back of your hand and still get lost. I'm careful, Grandad. I remember what you've taught me. Anyway, I made so many friends among the bush creatures. I think they'd see me home all right. Yeah, maybe so. Let's hope we never have to find out. Now, stop talking and give me a hand. We've got to earn our keep. Where are you? Well, come out. There's things to be done. I'm waiting. I'm tired of... Ow! What's this? Something big and soft. <laughs> What's so funny, ghost horse? You. You're always complaining about us getting in your way. Now you're in ours. Yeah. Out of the way. Out of the way. Orphan foal coming through. <laughs> uh, don't be cheeky, Yorella. Have some respect. <laughs> Sorry, Thara. Sorry, Wombat. Well, so you should be. And I'm still looking. What are you looking for, Wombat? Baby Wombat keeps wandering off for long stretches at a time. Usually when there's some work to be done. Well, he's growing up, Wombat. It's only naturally she'd want to get about on his own for a bit. When you were young, you must have... Never did. Baby Wombat, get over here before I... He's wa not here, Wombat. Nowhere around here. What would you know? You're only a foal. I can see, Wombat, and I'm higher up than you are, and he's not here. Yeah? Well, if you're so smart, you find him. I'm going home. <laughs> Can I try and find him, Thara? Can I? Maybe another time, Urella. You're still a bit... Ah, you're great at giving advice. <laughs> Pity you don't take some of your own. All right for my baby wombat to wander off, but not your orphan. Oh, I can do it, Thara. I'll be careful and I won't leave any hoof marks and I won't make any noise. Oh, please, Thara. All right. 
The baby wombat is probably on his way home right this minute. But you can never have enough practice at tracking. Off you go. Typical. Typical. Not far now, and it's good riddance to the high country forever. Danger? I see no danger. Last one to the creek's a rotten egg. That's what he said, a rotten egg. You're on! Bottom of the escarpment. Blimey. That's the way those trappers were headed. Trappers! Charlie, be careful! <laughs> I'll tell you something, sunshine. If you don't turn up soon, when I catch you, I'll. Eh? Eh? Oh, now what? One of them pesky dingo pups in trouble again. <laughs> Always a crisis. Typical. Typical. No one round when you need them. I suppose poor old Wombat's gonna have to see what the matter is. That'd be right, yeah, that'd be right. <laughs> Oh no! What happened? It was the monster! The blue monster! <laughs> He's alive! Alive? Oh, awesome! I thought... Yeah! We both thought... He's alive, oh. but he's pretty knocked about. We're going to have to get him back to his family. Any ideas? Uh... No. I don't think so. No. Hmm. Maybe Thara could help. He knows everything. You stay here while I try and find him. Hmm, <laughs> bit grotty. Not up to Karawong's usual standards. But I suppose beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Well, what I wouldn't do for a... Hey, what's this? So, the blue monster's escaping the high country, is it? Well, it's not going to get off that easily. Halt! <laughs> I order you to stop and apologise for all the mischief and mayhem you have caused. The mighty Brolga has bronchitis from the dunking you gave him in the river. Did you hear something, mate? Nope, not a thing. Oh, uh, if I could just scream. And I'm the fastest, and the smartest, and the strongest. And I... 
and I can leap huge gullies with a single bound. Hey, Yorella, what's the rush? Sorry, Arrow, can't stop. It's an emergency. I've got to find Thara. Thara? Emergency? Oh, I would have thought by now, Yorella, that you would have realised that I'm the one to see in an emergency. Thara's no good in an emergency. Spends too much time admiring himself in rock pools, that sort of thing. Now, uh, what's the emergency? It's Baby Wombat. He was hit by a blue thing on the road. Oh, dead, hey? Well, that's easily fixed. Just leave him there. No, not dead, but injured. We've got to do something to help him. Hmm. And what was the great Thara going to do? Give him the kiss of life or something? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm sure he'd think of something. Well, I'm sure I can think of something better. But I probably should check on the situation firsthand. So, lead on, my fine young Brumby. I'll follow you. <laughs> As you can see, they can't get along without me. Catch you soon. <sighs> Yep, no doubt about it. You were quite right, Yorella. Baby Wombat's been hit. Yes, but what can we do about it? Well, uh, um, I, uh, I could grab him by the tail with my teeth and drag him back to his wombat hole. <laughs> no, Arrow, no. He's been hurt. He needs to be treated with care. I knew I should have found Thaura. What? Now that's just a load of... Oh, no! Hey? Baby Wombat, what happened? A Brumby Hunter! Run for your lives! Ah! Oh, you poor thing. You've been hurt. Good day, boy. Your friend doesn't look too good to me. <laughs> I've got to get him back to my grandfather. He may be able to make him better. I'll just test his weight. I'm not going to be able to carry him home. He weighs a ton. Gonna have to think of something else. Any suggestions, boy? No? What about you, pups? Hmm, this requires some thought. Oh, I've got an idea! <laughs> Typical, typical. You try to find a dingo pup in trouble and the stupid whippersnapper stops howling before a wombat can find where he is. Can't find where baby wombat is either. Not a particularly good day. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Ah, what do you expect? There's always someone who's prepared to laugh at another's misfortune. But at least those pesky trappers are nowhere in sight. Now it's safe to fly across it. <laughs> what kind of tree is this? Not a leaf in sight. I get it. These aren't trees. Something man-made, in fact. Another intrusion into the high country. Shocking, simply shocking. <laughs> outrage! Outrage! Man-made lightning bolts! Outrage! <laughs> hey? Hey? What? What? What's going on over there? Oh, what a weight. <laughs> steady, boy, steady. I know you're not used to it, but it'll be all right. Now, with a bit of luck, I'll be able to walk Baby Wombat home. See if we can do it. Come on, boy, let's go. What in the name of blundering Brumbies is going on? That's it. Good boy, good. That's the way. That's the way. Now I've seen everything. Hey, 
Look over there. The old jetty, me favourite fishing spot. Can't you see the sign, mate? Says no fishing. I've been fishing here since I was a kid. Takes more than some dopey new sign to stop me. <laughs> Go on, let's get over there. See a damn thing. No dingo pups, no baby wombat. Wouldn't like what you saw anyway, even if you could see. Hey, see what? What? What, 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 what? Your son on the back of the orphan foal, kidnapped by a man. One of the little ones. Kidnapped? Another trapper? Could be. Didn't get close enough to find out. Killers, all of them. Ran me over, in fact. I'm going north for a rest. You sort it out. Sort it out? What's going on? Kidnapped. Hey, hey, you come back, Carolong. Hey, hey, come back here. <laughs> That'll give the old sour for something to think about. <laughs> Oh. Hey? What? Who? Who? Oh, what a sight, what a sight. An injured wombat riding a horse. Oh, what a fight. Hey, now what's this? Not more noise to disturb my bliss. Uh, g'day, my poke. Uh, you haven't seen a rather nice-looking filly about, have you? Kind of nice colour, big brown eyes. No, her I have not seen, but a wombat riding a horse this way has been. A wombat riding a... <laughs> well, now I've heard everything, Mopoke. What kind of berries have you been eating? If you care to proceed with stealth, you'll be able to see for yourself. No, I've got more important things to do than listen to this rubbish. See you later, Mopoke. Just as well Arrow should go. But I better find Thaura, he should know. That wasn't right. That definitely wasn't right. I don't think that man thing is supposed to be walking with our friends. I'm sure Baby Wombat is not supposed to be riding on Urala's back. Perhaps Wombat said it was all right. Do you think so? Well, I don't think so. Perhaps we should tell him. Perhaps we should. You see, it's just the way I said. The baby's hurt, but at least not dead. It's just that... Well, it's just that it's not right. Well, I never. Who'd have believed it? Hard to believe, I must agree. Quite a surprise, even for me. Oh, sorry for not believing you, Mopoke. Let's keep them company for the rest of the journey. Good idea. Stan, crows, now I've seen everything. Baby Wombat injured. We'll look after him. That's a relief. Now Baby Wombat's in good hands. Ah, oh, Wombat, are we glad we bumped into you? Oh, we just saw Baby Wombat riding on Urella's back, believe it or not. Well, lying, actually. Oh, yes, lying, precisely. Lying on the foal's back, and we said... No, 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 cut your cackling. I know this already. Oh, you do? You do? I do. Didn't you hear me? You got feathers stuck in your ears as well. Mm. What I don't know, you prattling nincompoops, is where he is. Oh, he never asked that, did he, Mew? Oh, certainly not. Not that. If he had, we would have said the old prospector's hut, wouldn't we? Oh, we would. Well, why didn't you? Now, out of me way. <laughs> oh, uh, 
Emus, emus, you haven't um, uh, seen any sign of a nice young filly, have you? Big brown eyes? Uh, nope, I guess. Uh, well, I'll just keep looking. There, there, I won't hurt you. Just got to find out what's wrong and where. <laughs> Sorry, fella. All done. Yeah. Bit of shock, I reckon. Saw leg and a sore head. Pretty lucky, really. But he's grown up now and they're tough as rocks, these wombats. Whatever collides with them often gets more damage than they do. So he'll be all right? Ah, fine. We'll just let him rest up and feed him for a while. Then send him back into the bush. There you are, boy. Did you hear that? Your friend's gonna be better soon. Thanks to you and the dingoes. <laughs> Speaking of which, this foul's friends appear to be waiting for him. Come on, fella. Off you go. He's all right, Wombat. And he's in good hands. The old prospector helped one of my children back to health once. He's a good man, Wombat. And his grandson takes after him. You've no cause to worry. Oh, well, worrying's what I do best. <laughs> we know that, Wombat. Hi, everyone. You were very brave, Urala. Wasn't he, Wombat? Oh, I suppose so. And full of trust to let the boy get so close to you. Oh, he saved my life, Benny. I can trust him. And you saved baby Wombats. I suppose you'll be wanting to thank Urala, Wombat. Wombat? Hey, Wombat! What? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. he did quite a good job for a Brumby, I suppose. Oh, thank you, Wombat. But it's good to help friends. No, I can't hang around here chatting all day. I've got to get home and tell Mrs Wombat that there'll be one less for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> You've been fishing here since you were a kid, eh, mate? Well, we've been here an hour and not so much as a nibble. Oh, patience is a virtue, mate. That's what fishing's all about. Patience? Oh, it's pretty hard to be patient, mate. Hey, have you noticed the way this jetty trembles every now and again? That's as solid as a rock, this jetty. I told you I've been here since I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! 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 Not me, you! Me, you! Me beautiful, you! This is the last time I go fishing with you, mate. So Baby Wombat was in very good hands as he settled back to enjoy a few weeks of being spoilt as he waited to recover from his accident. And there was another treat in store organized by his father. But it wouldn't turn out quite as it had been planned.